What up, Braz? Denver Bray here. Dag, I'm Colorado Bray here. We're on the filthy streets of Rado. Slaying them. You know how it is. I have uh, slayed my tail light so much that it completely stopped working now, so that's great. I kind of thought I could just file it away and like it would work because there's like LEDs you know, up here, but then there's some deeper further down. So like I figured I'd scrape through those first ones and then the last set would be good, right? As long as I didn't scrape it past a certain point, which I wasn't going to scrape it all the way down to the seat. And that's where I would have to go to get those last LEDs. But as it turns out, apparently you didn't have to do that because now my tail light don't work at all. And I haven't scraped it that deep into the tail light. So I'm not sure why I was talking about the tail light. But hey, um, I like doing Q&A videos like once a year. And it's really been like a year and a half since I did the last Q&A. So I figured we were two for one. Um, I have 30 screenshots. And in each screenshots, like, you know, the questions from Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, we're never going to get your question in, by the way. Because um, that's where I post it, right? <laughs> but anyway, so I went through those. I scrubbed out a bunch of them. <laughs> and I still have all 30, 30 or like 29 screenshots of questions I find interesting. And the only way I can do this video and get it done in a timely manner is if I go through each page and just decide on what question I like the best out of all the questions on that one screenshot. So that's how I'm going to do it. So you might see me looking at your the questions and it might be one that you want to be the answer, but I answer some other guys. Don't be upset, Braz. I, I can't. The video's already going to be long, right? I don't want it to be hours. So without further ado, oh, and I am going to be out here in Colorado for a little bit longer. Uh, by the time you see this video, though, I mean, who knows? I might be, depends on what video from here I post. Oh, this street. I like this street. <laughs> All right, let's get to the first question. Actually, I don't even have to look at it. I already looked at it. I know what it is. Um, the question was, what's more fun, uh, street squidding or uh, stunting? And for me personally, I know this is going to blow y'all's minds, but I like stunting better than anything. That's, that stuff gets me excited. It gets me hype. Doing tricks and stuff and killing the streets at 45, 55 miles an hour, or, you know, 60 if you're on the highway, right? Baller. So much fun. Dipping, wheelies, scraping. I love that. That's what I love the most. The reason you don't see a whole lot of that stunt riding stuff anymore on YouTube, you OGs know, but and I've explained this before, but I'll just explain it for now. It's because um, I can't get away with posting it anymore. YouTube flags it for whatever reason. I can get away with Willie and this thing, maybe, here and there, and whatever but like dude if i get on like i did a video with the stunt bike already that i was trying to show you guys and that video got demonetized and so it stayed on patreon that's just how i do it if the video gets demonetized patreon i'm not gonna play around with it for years trying to get stupid video to go i'll just put it in patreon that's why i love you patreon braves um and move on anyway so there's that question let's i i just like stunning better it's way more fun okay next question's like about the date videos there's like a couple all date video related questions police interceptor but they're all uh they're all too close so i'll just answer kind of all of them together um one the brand is single so the brand is going to take girls on dates because it's fun two uh, sometimes there's not a second date because i don't want there to be a second date sometimes there is a second date but y'all don't see it i'm not gonna like keep taking the same girl out and keep posting this that video right it's gonna be that first date and then that's it i'm not gonna front ring patrol getting a little sweaty in here brass um we're about to just we're just gonna do this i don't like sit behind you guys i don't like sit behind you and i don't like sit behind you it's too much stress yeah web way all you want i just wave and go Anyway, Brass, uh, so, yeah, if I take a girl out, you're going to see the one-day video, and that's about it, unless it's, like, for a girlfriend. Uh, and I like the date videos because, one, they're fun to make. It's fun to take a girl on a date. I like that. It's just fun. Uh, two, the views do really, really good. Y'all like it, so why not? Like, that's what it comes down to. Y'all like it. YouTube likes it. They're fun for me to make. I like editing them. It's, it's interest. I like people. It's interesting to me to hang out with people and different types of people and girls and dates is the same kind of thing. Just 
hanging out with different girls and seeing how they act on the, the bike and with me and stuff is just fun. I don't know. I like it. So, as long as I'm single, I'm going to keep making those. I doubt any of y'all are really going to care about that. Although, I had one comment where the guy's like, uh, another date video unsubbed. <laughs> it's like, like, it's like, it's the same video as anything else I do, except I have a passenger. And I video us eating. That's it. Like, it's still me riding. It's still me wheeling in and doing hooligan stuff. It's just with the passenger, it adds a little spice to it. But somebody was annoyed that I made more than three or four of those. Like, it's really funny, but I'm not worried about it. I just thought it was, just thought it was silly. <laughs> Try to scrape it, Brad. I didn't get it done. It's hard to scrape it fast like that. Here's another one. Uh, how did you become so knowledgeable in writing? And the reason I become knowledgeable, knowledgeable in writing is because I survived the younger days, the first squid days, of just ripping and doing really fast wheelies, and that's all I knew how to do. And I didn't die. A lot of guys die doing that. It's just how it is. We don't understand the bikes, we don't understand the power, we don't understand how to wheelie, we don't understand how to go fast and not die. And if you survive all that, like I did, and I'm just gonna go through here, Brad, it's green. If you survive all that, and then you move on to like stunting, and then you move on to goofing off at the track, and then blah, 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 blah. If you dabble in everything related to riding, and you ride so many different bikes, that's how you become knowledgeable. So don't be scared to try new stuff, Braze. Because everything I do just adds a little bit more knowledge to my rider, rider abilities. Look at all these poor people. Denver's got a real problem with that. It's starting to look like California down here, except cold. Which makes it worse. Not good, Braze. Okay, I'm gonna answer two on this page because I like both these questions. So one is, do you encourage new stunt riders? Like, do you want them to succeed? And the answer is yes. Look at my son, Jared. Uh, there's his Instagram. Go look at him. I was teaching that kid just to bring the wheelies up a little higher and stop chasing them so hard. And now he surpassed me with most of his tricks that I can't, I still can't do most of them because I got into riding bigger, faster stuff and not so much the stunt bikes and I, coached him into slowing down and getting stunt bike stuff and look at him go. He's shredding. He's doing all kinds of great stuff. Um, super entertaining to watch Jared. I love Jared. Love you Jared. Um, so yes, like I want, I, I would rather all y'all be better at wheelies and stunning than going fast because going fast will get you killed, stunning will get you broken arms and stuff and legs and collarbones and you know, you won't really die from it but you'll get banged up but I'd rather you get banged up and have a cool story instead of splattering on the highway and that be the end of it, if that makes sense. And then the second question is, what's your favorite song? So. Rindon, put that up. Like, screenshot it and put it up. Like, the whole thing. That's my favorite song. I would play it for you, but uh, demonetized. <sighs> but I give it a listen. It's pretty epic. Uh, what's the next bike I'm going to get? And I don't really know, because I'm very spontaneous with when I buy something. Uh, but the plan is to either get a Supermoto or get a Neuro 1000. <laughs> Double scrape, Braz. Double scrape! Right in front of the Ducati people. Ducati suck. So yeah, those are those are the next things on my radar at the moment. The next question was, uh, what car comes to mind that is just as thrilling as riding a motorcycle? And while I haven't ridden in any cars probably stronger than, I don't know, 550, 650 horsepower-ish, um, to me, even a thousand horsepower car isn't going to be the same as riding a 1,000 cc bike because you're in a cage. You're very, it's going to be rowdy, right? It's going to be faster, most likely, right? But it's not going to be the same feeling of being on the outside of the bike where instantaneously you could just die. You know, nothing matches that. That makes it more extreme. That makes it more exciting. So 
and I've driven, I drove a Shelby GT500 one time, and I ripped on it, got it to like 130, and it, it was fun, but, eh, it's not the same, it's just not the same, it's, it's not the same, the bikes are just way more intense, even if they're not as fast, alright, there's two on this page I really want to answer too, okay, one is like, what's the most unstable bike at high speed, and it's the R6, the R6 is one of the best bikes, and also one of the worst for that, because it's super nimble, and extremely efficient but it will speed wobble it will speed wobble like crazy so you really really got to be careful if you own r6 uh you really need to put a steering stabilizer on it that's the most ideal thing to do the other question was did i figure out why my knee was having such a hard time dragging the right knee and the main thing i figured out was yeah no matter what it's not going to be as easy to drag but it's mainly because this this is my normal riding position i have my foot up here away from the shifter but this foot stays over the foot brake always and so when i'm on track you gotta have both feet on the pegs you can't have a foot over the foot brake you pretty much don't even use the foot brake for the most part i mean maybe a more experienced rider will but i won't I'm not that good um so yeah once i started putting it up on this peg then i could get my knee out better but overall it's still gonna suck and not be able to go out as easily as the other one but that's okay all right, the next question is, who would win in a fight? A silverback gorilla or a grizzly bear? And it's an obvious answer, the grizzly bear. Have you seen them two fight? Like, like what they would fight like, if you know how they fight? Like, bro, the grizzly bear is gonna rip the monkey's arm off. Like, it'd be crazy, I'd love to see that fight. We'll answer the bottom one. Uh, what stands out to you when you're going fast and what am I looking for? Uh, I always look for in the vehicle. So, it's a, you know, it's about a second maybe that you have to look depending on how fast you're going. But normally if I'm coming up to a car, I have pretty good eyesight. I can see their heads and their hands and see what they're doing that I know I'm good to pass, do whatever it is I'm trying to do. Um, sometimes I can look at a car and I can tell that they're looking left, like they want to merge left or whatever, right? And I'll predict it and uh, not pass them on the close to the left, right? I'll pass them on the right or whatever. And I've done it before and it's happened So because I've checked my mirrors, right? So it's a little trial and error type deal, right? I keep checking and seeing if I was right about my assumption and sure enough most of the time I am so it's always to me it's always looking at the people and like also be mindful of the spot you're at like on the road so like if I know I'm coming up to a major exit where a lot of people normally exit that's the time I slow down a little bit and prepare for those people that are in the far left lane about to dive bomb to the exit in the far right you know you got to be mindful of where you are on the road if I'm on a blank spot flying down the highway where there's no exits generally speaking most people are just going to keep going straight but when there's an exit coming up and stuff that's when you're going to see a lot more movement right so that kind of thing you got to keep in mind it's becoming familiar with where you are with where you're riding and all that kind of stuff and we're going to go left because i just like the way this looks so that's my advice for that uh one of the questions is uh, best sounding bike in your opinion and for me brands it's really this k5 i love the way this thing sounds the way it decels the way it backfires the way it does everything it does is just beautiful i mean listen to this decel okay we'll just speed up lightly It has a ring around 10 to 12,000. This this K5 K6 ring. Let's see if we can hit it right here. You can hear it. It changes pitches for a little bit, and you, and that's when it really gives it everything it's got. Like its its highest power band is right there, right? And it oh, it sounds glorious. <laughs> sounds so good. Um, it's. It's and it's deep, you know, it's a deep grunty yet screaming high pitch sounding what it needs, you know, when you really lay into it. So to me it sounds the best. I mean I think 600 sounds the best period, right? All, all all around. I like the high RPM screaming, right? But I guess like the best sounding bike period would just be this one for me. I love the way it sounds. Alright, there's three questions here I really want to answer. So one is 
do you ride with that speed every day or is it just for videos and he also said I'm his favorite youtuber thank you Bray um, I I don't want to be bad example but I kind of am but I ride way faster off camera than I do on camera. I do much, much more sketchy things with trash tires, with whatever, just by myself, right? When I'm on camera, I try to be modest uh, to an extent so that I don't crash on camera. Does that make sense? I don't want to fail video. That's why all most of my wrecks and stuff are all stuff alone. Like, I crashed the Grom the other day, which obviously wasn't that big of a deal, right? But I, I crashed it. My knee's, like, super bloody underneath this skinny jean part right here. It's, like, a chunk missing. And then I didn't have gloves on when I fell. So it, it notched up my hands. So my hands kind of hurt pretty bad right now, especially this one. This one hit hard, you know, just really crammed the ground. So not feeling the best. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I ride... When I'm on camera, I'm being more modest. Just believe me when I say I'm being more modest. And then all those goofy comments of, you really shouldn't be doing this for views. And <laughs> like, the, dude, the, the, you should have seen what I did before I turned this camera on. Like, <laughs> it's it's funny when I read those comments because it's like, I'm taking it easy on video. I really am. I try to be, I, I try to make sure I don't take any serious risk when I'm on camera. There's some spicy stuff, right? We're being spicy on this channel, you know? We're doing some stuff, but it's not as bad as off. Um, that's that. Like, I, I'm a hooligan to the core. I just like to zoom in around on the 1000, you know, and even on my 600. Like, and if I have somewhere to be, I don't really see a point in taking my time to get there. <laughs> you know, if I'm on a bike that doesn't require... If I'm on a stunt bike, man, I'm cruising speed limit. But if I'm on my 1000, or a stock 600, we're ringing it, boys. We're going to hear some RPM. Oh, I would wheelie right here, but... I don't want to go that slow on a wheelie right now. I wanted to be able to run it up to about here and then dip and scrape, but there's traffic, so... I have to wait. Okay, there's two more on that page. Uh, one is, are you happy? Yes, Bray. I'm happy. Thanks for asking. Um, I'm normally always happy. Uh, I don't really get sad. <laughs> I don't see a point. Life is too beautiful. <laughs> it's too great. It's, there's too much going on. It's exciting. Like, uh, I don't know. I like it. I, I had, it took me a long time to get this mindset. But like, if I was to lose everything today, like if my channel was to go to the to the to the ground, just YouTube, just flag everything. All of a sudden, my revenue's gone. Patreon gone. Everything gone. Right? Uh, I would be excited to rebuild in a different way. Like, I would be excited to be like, okay, I was successful here. I wonder where else I could be successful at or in. Whether that be, you know, working for somebody or working for myself or starting a little business or just joining up with, like, Riley or whatever, right? I would just be excited for that. Because uh, I, I refuse to, like, accept, like, oh, well, that's it. My life's over. I'm never going to have anything good again. Like, there's no point in sitting around crying about stuff. But there's there's no point in that, Bray. It's, like... You're not gonna, it's not gonna get any better that way. The only way it can get better is you start over and do it again. It can get depressing starting over a thousand times, right? But, um, it, you know, you gotta just push through and be excited. So, yeah, that's that's how I feel about things. I'm, I'm always happy. Although I do get seasonal depression. So, winter time comes, your boy gets sad for no reason. <laughs> But uh, I'll be fine. I'm gonna try to not be where it's cold when it gets cold. Let's see, there's one more in here. When did you start start running and why? Because I liked the idea of being better at something, right? So any type of riding I wanna be better at. And whenever I started wheeling, stunning and all that thing, tricks and stuff, dude, I like it. I, I wanna be better. I wanna do, do better. So that's why, it's the drive to be better. Okay, two questions on that page, is the sex page as well. Uh, one is how much power is your bike pushing, and my bike's sitting at 160. That's all she wrote. 160, which is pretty good for an old K5. That's about what they'd be pushing without any, you know, motor work. So, that's where we're at. Um, and the next question was, uh, you're gonna love this. He said something along the lines of, you already show your face, so why not do a face reveal? And, bruh, I want you to think about why you said that, and then I want you to understand this answer. 
If you're asking me why I don't show you my face while saying I've shown you my face, isn't that a contradictory thing to say? Maybe it's because I haven't shown my face and you wish I would. And everybody keeps thinking when you see I let glimpses of my face through my mirror or some reflection with my helmet on is a face reveal. It's not a face reveal. You can see my nose and eyes. Congratulations. You can stare at that all day, but if you see me walk past you on the street, you're not going to know who I am. <laughs> like, my nose and eyes aren't a giveaway. You got to see my whole face. That's what a face reveal is. That's incriminating. And that's something we will never do. We don't do face reveals, Brez, and then respectfully, Brez, if you see me in public or out and about, you make sure that your pictures and videos do not get my face in it. Um, because that's what I ask of you. I don't, I don't ask my audience anything. I don't ask you to like videos, subscribe, comment, nothing. <laughs> this is what I ask. Don't take pictures of my face, don't post it on the internet, and quit asking for a face reveal. Because the stuff I post isn't the most legal stuff. And if you want your boy to keep making videos and having a good time, because I just now made it. I, guys, I just barely now make good enough money that I'm getting along, getting to travel, getting to have fun more often than not, right? And it's going good. And a face reveal is not going to help my channel. <laughs> it's all you youngins in there. Y'all think, think you really got to know. Like, you don't. It's like, it's like wanting to see the Master Chief's face. You know, from Halo. I have never wanted to see that guy's face. I wanted it to be a mystery forever, and then they made a TV series, and he made out with a Covenant spy, and I've been pissed ever since. Like, there's no point. No face reveals. The mysterious, faceless thing. Good. Rookie. Y'all have seen Halo's uh, ODSD rookie? That's me. That's me. I'm the rookie. We never know what that guy looks like. He's a silent protagonist. Or not protagonist. He's a silent good guy. Is it a good guy? Or is protagonist is the bad guy? Whatever. You get what I'm saying. Except I have a voice, right? But I'm a faceless character. Well, my face is my helmet. Let's see if we can scrape here. <laughs> Alright. I think this is the last question, Braz. I'm going to stop somewhere and check the, the footy time, right? i got to guesstimate how long the video is going to be. But it comes from my dear buddy Adam. And Adam asked me, he said, uh, what is the better option, um, Chick-fil-A or Whataburger? Now, this is a very, very difficult answer, right? But the best I can say is Chick-fil-A is more refined, without a doubt. More refined, it's pre-blessed food. I mean, you can't really beat the quality of Chick-fil-A for a fast food place. That's probably the best quality fast food place there is. Um, but they're closed on Sunday, and they're closed in the middle of the night. And they only serve chicken. But then Whataburger serves chicken and, and biscuits and, and gravy and, and burgers and some interesting different kinds of burgers. Like right now, my favorite is the Southern Bacon Double. I love that thing. They put some kind of sauce on it. Mm. And you can get that at, you know, a 2 a.m. at night. Like, you know, you don't you got to wait for morning time. You can get it whenever you want. So if we're going to go quality, we're going to go probably Chick-fil-A. But if we're going to go like a little bit of everything and whenever you want it, it's got to be Whataburger. But you can't really put the two against each other. It's just like, if it's 12 o'clock in the day, you know, and you want some lunch, and you want to feel good after you eat it, chances are you should probably go to Chick-fil-A, right? But if you're feeling a little spicy boy, feeling a little fat, which I am most days, I pulled up the Whataburger boys. Appears I have a dent. Anyway, Braz, if you enjoyed the video, Braz, like the video. I'm just kidding, I don't tell you what to do, but, um, yeah, that's it. That's a, There's a lot more questions, Brez, and I wish I could answer them all, but you've already seen the link to the video, like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's impossible for me to talk about something quickly. Like, if I had it my way, and I'd have, like, five questions for my Q&A, but, man, it's hard to nail, you know, to, to get it down to five questions. There's so many questions, so I just answer a bunch, and then just don't even look at the rest. But I uh, love you guys. Thanks for watching videos. I don't know when this will be up because I would tell you like what's next to get you excited because there's a couple cool videos that I got planned while I'm out here in Denver but yeah I don't know all right later Braves